Jeff Meeks and Chris Austin invite you to watch your favorite sports event at the Batter's Box at 43 Hermitage Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. The Batter's Box offers shuttle service to all Titans home games. It's a great place for friends to gather for the game and after the game. So check out the Batter's Box Bar and Grill, and thanks again for sponsoring the show. If you're looking to learn guitar, check out Dave Isaac's Guitar Studio on Music Row. Whether you are a beginner or hobbyist, to professional songwriter or artist, Dave offers a unique and powerful method of instruction that teaches not just the instrument, but the whole musician. Find out more at NashvilleGuitarGuru.com. Howdy everybody, welcome to Mug Shots, where we give you the craziest criminal antics ever. Today we have the frightful celebrity mug of the week, the most recent bad teacher in the news, and all the biggest local crime stories coming up. From the family grocery hauler to fire-breathing racing engines, the one name you need to know is USA Motor and Machine, located at 51 Cleveland Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-726-726. 3725 or at USA Motor Today's show is brought to you by locally owned and operated Highland Rem Speedway. Highland Rem Speedway is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year with great short track door to door stop car racing in a safe, family friendly atmosphere. Visit their website at HighlandRim.com. Mugshots, where we bring you a sampling of the craziest criminal antics from Nashville and beyond. All suspects are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hey, Nash Vegas, welcome to Mugshots. We're here to talk about uh, people doing uh, dumb stuff, pretty much. So some of it's just downright evil. That's the, there's, dumb. There's evil stuff and there's dumb stuff. It's from dumb like, to evil. We cover it all. Any, anything in between. That's right. We, we will touch on all of those subjects. One of the things we really like to touch our celebrity mugshots. Ooh, mm -hmm. we do. Can't keep my hands off mm -hmm. of them. We've got some good ones this week, too. We're going to start out with our girl, Jamie Presley, uh, most recently of My Name is Earl fame, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, uh, 2011, so it's been a year-ish. I'm thinking a full year. Uh, got got arrested in, uh, in Santa Monica on the DUI charge uh, with a blood alcohol content of 0.22. Is that, what's, the, what's, the, what's the law? 0.08 legal oh, limit. Oh, so that's way so, over. Yeah, she's almost triple. She was hammered. Yeah, she so looks yeah. like one of the lost Olsen triplets in that picture. She does, like an yeah. evil one. Yeah. Um, but, the uh, but so actually, I think she looks hot in that mugshot. That's just me. I, I don't think she looks bad. No, she doesn't look bad at all, but she managed to avoid jail time on this. That does not three surprise me. Three times the legal limit, no jail. What'd she have to do? Uh, probation. Sum mm -hmm. Three years summary probation. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but it means she didn't have to go to jail. So. Well, she's back drinking again, I can tell you that. Good for that's her. That's kind of light sentencing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving along to the next one. Yeah. Who do we have favorite. here? We have uh, Darcy Retsky, otherwise known as Darcy Rexy. She let her horses out. See, when I saw this mugshot, I thought it was for meth or something. Of yeah, life. she looks rough. She looks rougher than what all. But here's the deal. She got accused of letting her horses run around and that got her six days in the slammer yeah and Jamie, animals running at large Jamie got a slap on the wrist got three times the legal limit but yeah i don't know why she was maybe she was working on the remake of um wild horses by the rolling stones i don't know what possessed but her you don't you maybe don't know they, how many horses were out she could have been like eight times the legal horses out of the pin limit <laughs> if that's uh, that may not be a thing um i she D does not make any of the reunions with the Smashing Pumpkins. No. She's obviously she, just retired running her horse farm all over the neighborhood. 42 and just, just trying to keep horses in cages. Yeah. That's all she wants. That's right. But that's a crazy mugshot, don't you think? It, 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 yes. Yeah. It's one of the worst ones we've seen. Well, it is frightful. It says it right there on the headline. Frightful. It sure does. Moving along to our next segment. Our favorite. Bad teachers. <laughs> This is an epidemic in America, people. The it's, bad teachers. You think that it's going to be a person you can leave your children with, yeah, going to be an educator, going to be somebody to look up to, but no, they're making googly eyes at your child. Or maybe there just wouldn't be so many creeps waiting to hit on teenagers. I mean, have you met teenagers? I've met a couple. They all look like teenagers to me. It's they're not all, like they look older. They're teenagers all pretty terrible. Teenagers look like 30-year-olds when I was a teenager. Now teenagers look like teenagers. That's my, you know what I mean? And it no, I have no idea what you just you said. You don't? Okay, well, let me explain it to you. Let's try. Write Back it down. when I was in high school, okay? First of all. So six years ago. 
I think students and teachers were having affairs back then. Oh yeah, totally. But nobody was getting in trouble for it. It was just mm, the seventies, man. Let it go. Just the way things were. Free love, key parties. That's right. Who are you going home with tonight? I don't know. Let me get the keys out of the fishbowl. <laughs> Why are they in the fishbowl? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know. But this lady here, Megan Denham, Denman, yeah. Denman. Megan Denman. Mm, uh, Denman. She had an eighteen-month relationship with a sixteen-year-old, or it started when he was sixteen. Mm -hmm. But it also said that she had. She was married for two years. So basically, she, she gets married, six months into the marriage, starts cheating on husband with student, mm -hmm. and then um, is really torn up about it whenever they decide, hey, you're going to jail it, for this it's one. It's kind of crazy how she gets busted. Uh, he gets pulled over by the cops and just starts spilling the beans to the cops. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been having an affair with my teacher and read the text messages and everything else. And what was he thinking? <laughs> well, he maybe, was ready for it to end, I guess. Maybe he thought, Hey, if I can impress this cop by talking about how I'm yeah. giving the teacher the old heave ho, he'll let me. Totally he'll, he'll let me walk on it this. Backfired. And they were like, "Wait, what?" He got his little love instructor put. In a so slammer. you're how old? And she's how old? And has anyone ever told you to internalize any of your thoughts? Because <laughs> this would really, if you two are into each other, that was the best course of action here. But yeah. uh, the affair yeah. came to light April 5th when the student was pulled over driving a car belonging to his teacher and admitted she had loaned it to him and that they were having a sexual relationship. Like, he, yeah. You know what? Not even my car. How'd you get it? Um, kind of doing the all. Bone in his denim. With denim. the uh, with the owner. Well, oh really? What uh, what does said owner do? How old is she? Oh, she's 30. She's my teacher. Bad idea. Mm-hmm. And all that on the and, inside. And this is where you end up right here on the bad teacher segment. Teen was reluctant to pursue criminal charges, but since he was 16 and the state can do that, it didn't matter what he wanted to do. Right, but she is sentenced to six months, which some people think is, is a pretty hefty sentence. Well, there, had, uh, there, there were instances, and her attorney apparently presented them, that have, uh, of other teachers doing the same thing and, and just getting probation. Right. So, I don't know, maybe, the, maybe it was example time. Yeah. When, when Megan came up. it was example time. It's no good for her. Okay. Sorry, Megan. Yep. Just, Have fun. Uh, Have fun in the slammer. But everybody in the slammer is going to be over 18. Just letting you know. So maybe not your type. Unless you get re relocated to juvie. I'm oh. sure you'd like. Moving on to some local stories. <laughs> so we've got mug shots for the people that committed the crimes. Um, but I don't know, just kind of sad stuff here. Yeah, this guy is really sad. It's, we're dressed alike, which is um, really even more creepy because he's wearing my, my top. And he got shot over four Wait, years did you get it back from him for the show or? You yeah, just he bequeathed shop it to at the me. same. Mm -hmm. Wow, did he use that word when he gave it back? Mm -hmm. I, I, I. Because he doesn't look like the kind of guy that would use bequeath. Bequeath? No. Okay. Uh, Alan Ray Medford, Mefford, sorry. Um, of 825 Douglas Lane, in case you want to go by his old house. Uh, he, he basically, he, he shot and killed a guy over 42 bucks on New Year's Day. Over, over uh, in East uh, Nashville? Uh, yeah, a $42 uh, drug debt. So, I think the immediate lesson here is that you should go ahead and pay for your drugs up front if you're into that stuff. If you can't afford them, don't kind of get into it. But that happened yeah. over in East Nashville, and he he shot and killed him over 42 yeah, bucks. Yeah, they argued out in the front yard for a little bit. Um, he went inside, got a shotgun, told told the other guy, hey, you need to leave, and then immediately shot him. Yeah. Maybe he was expecting someone speedier. I, I don't know. It just, That's I don't really, know. I don't really sad and a disturbing story. It's right by my, my East Nashville rental house, too. Yeah. Anyway, he's in Sumner County Jail on a $500,000 bond. Good luck getting out on that. Big bond. Moving on. Third person has been charged in a Clarksville shooting over a balloon. This story is just too hard to believe. It, I don't... Do not... There, there aren't enough balloons. details for me to even try to get it. Yes. Um, basically, a toddler, a two-year-old, I believe, uh, was Started the more this specific whole crime thing. Inadvertently. Uh, because the, the toddler... A two-year-old, yeah, it took a balloon from a house that was going to be shown by a realtor. An open house. At, at that point, some sort of argument ensues between two, two camps, two groups of people. Yes. Uh, one of them gets on a Chrysler, the other a Ford Thunderbird. The Thunderbird had five males in it, uh, pulls up, blocks the Chrysler from getting out. Then everybody that was in the Thunderbird gets out and starts shooting into the van, this into the Chrysler. This is nuts. Are just emotions running so high at the holidays? What's going on? But realtors across the land are now going to use candles and plants to spiff up 
the ho- and not balloons anymore. Nobody wants either of those. <laughs> but but this toddlers balloon, don't anyway. <laughs> the toddlers yeah, don't. and it's That's toddlers that are clearly starting yeah, things here. Yeah, don't put Elmo in there, and don't put for God's sake, don't put any more balloons. In no, there. or a balloon with Elmo on it. If uh, yeah. Any of you realtors were think thinking about what that? What would happen? Just that's holiday a, candles. A poor idea. Poor idea. Um, but this is going to be the first time that a balloon has sparred a shooting. But it's our boy Deterius Lee Curry uh, was arrested. He's been charged in connection with the shooting. Uh, and they also picked up a 16-year-old juvenile in connection with the shooting. Because Who? 16-year-olds need to be rolling around. Whose two-year-old was it? They, 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 this is just a lot, a lot of information we still need on this case. Yeah. A two-year-old, just one that was around. Mm-hmm. His parents had let him off to go look at the house. Just a I don't know. balloon-loving two-year-old. All right, moving along to uh, seeking information. <laughs> what we're looking here for here, uh, what the police are looking for here, is just information that may help them uh, clear things up, uh, find whereabouts of people, find out who is involved in things, that sort of stuff. Information. Information. Um, but suspect. don't be a hero. No, they just don't. want the information. You don't. don't have to just be a vigilante and and go after any of these people if you see them. In fact, that would be the wrong thing to do. No, don't just rope the cattle. Find the cowboys. Let them do it. Yeah, that's a great. I that's just a made great that up. analogy. Right metaphor. now. Okay. Thank you. Quick, <laughs> this guy. Um, this couple, naughty couple. Justin Keith Treese and his girlfriend Jesse Mulder. Uh, Jesse Mulder is a person of interest. Justin Keith Treese is, in fact, a suspect in a shooting at a Dixon hotel um, on... She's got a it? lot of blue eyeshadow. She does. Oh. There's a good chance that's been removed, so you may not recognize her so easily. Right. Um, most like his hat is still on backwards. So tell us what happened. You're saying that somebody got shot at 11.20 he, p.m. on Tuesday at the Holiday Inn Express in Dixon? Matthew Draper of Hartsville, Tennessee, was shot and killed at about 11.20 p.m. Tuesday. Oh. Um, so sad. And it just just kind of says that the only thing I've picked up from it is that they went in, I guess, probably trying to rob the place. We don't have any motivation. We don't have any more information. We need more information. But this couple are the leading people of, you know, suspects in yes. this shooting. So if you have any information about where those two could be, get uh, in touch with the police. Dixon Police Department. Yep. They're going to be 615-441-9577. It's the Dixon Police Department, 615-441-9577. Let them know if you have any idea where, uh, where our people Justin, Keith, and Jesse are. And we're moving on to our next seeking information. Herrera, Guadalupe, 14, 41, I'm sorry. He's 41, uh, might have fled the area, but that is because the police want him uh, on charges of sexually abusing a 13-year-old girl. So if you know where Herrera, Guadalupe is... Um, you should let the police know. Call Crime Stoppers at 74-CRIME. And they have Spanish-speaking people uh, right on the, on the line there, should yeah. you need them. But yeah, this guy's a bad guy. He is suspected of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl for over a three-month period. So we need to bring this guy to justice. Yeah, that explains why he ran. Moving on to our skip traces. When we come back, we're going to have skip traces. That's right. From Jenkins bonding worth anywhere from $300 to 1000 for any information leading to their arrest. James T. Clymer bonding is looking for a guy who's worth $100,000 if he's found. If you want to feel the wind blowing through your hair and see the great city of Nashville at the same time, check out Nashville Scooter Tours. Trekking through the downtown streets to Music Row with Nashville Scooter Tours is safe, eco-friendly, and a whole lot of fun. They use Xenon electric scooters that go 55 miles on a single charge. Find out more by calling 615-290-5563 or book your reservation today at NashvilleScooterTours.com. Welcome back to Mug Shots. This is our segment uh, where we tell you who is wanted out there right now. And by giving tips to the police, you could get the money. Um, do Remember, not try it's just, to, yeah. just tips. And you just call the bail bondsman. Uh, let them figure out how to get the people <clears throat> wherever they need to go. Uh, so the numbers that we provide for you, call those numbers if you know where the people are, and, uh, and then whenever, whenever the people get, get picked up, get mm -hmm. apprehended, get, uh, get the cuffs put on them, get thrown in the clinker, you get paid put in the slammer, tip. you get some money. That's right. So Alicia Caldwell, 
Let's check her out. She is still on the lam, wanted for aggravated assault on a police officer and theft of property. She may be in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, or Iowa. $1,000 reward, Junkins Bonding, 615-254-2070. Next up, Stephen J. Brown, still wanted for driving under a revoked license. Uh, he's from Nashville, but he may be in Michigan now. So, since the internet reaches to Michigan, if any of you here see that and go, well, that guy looks familiar, uh, I met him in Michigan once, you should let your Michigan friends know that they could make 300 bucks just by calling Jenkins Bail Bonding at 615-254-2070 and letting them know the whereabouts of Stephen J. Brown so that they can get the whole license thing settled and maybe he can get a new license and not have to worry about this anymore. And not be running from the law. Next up, Selena Reed. She's wanted for criminal simulation drug paraphernalia, including a legend drug. drug. A legend drug is a fake drug. And she is from Clarksville. There's a $1,000 reward called Jenkins Bonding if you know the whereabouts of Selinda Reed. And going on to our last one. This is uh, the, old, the old big fish, the one that you want to catch, the one that you want to be a part of. Uh, getting, getting him apprehended. Stephen Jean Beck Brown, wanted for the rape of a child and child molestation. Uh, he, he's been on the run for a while, so if you see anyone that resembles him or if you know, in fact, where he is, you should call James uh, T. Clymer. James T. Clymer Binding. Got two numbers for him. First one, 615 896 0627. The second one, 615 418 3962. This could make your whole year. He's worth $100,000. Makes two of my years. That's like two, three. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> three years. Decade. That's pretty much three years for me. Thanks for watching Mugshots. Help us and help the whole community get these people off the street. Stay safe and join us next week. I'm Greta. I'm Charles this week. <laughs> we'll see you next time right back we'll here. We'll catch you next time. Talkopolis. Bye-bye.